Portland Timbers 1-1, 2-4, NYCFC player ratings. New York triumphed to make team history with first-ever MLS Cup win. New York City FC made team history on Saturday after defeating the Portland Timbers 1-1, 4-2, on penalties to lift their first-ever Major League Soccer Cup trophy. Sean Johnson was the hero of the night, saving two crucial shots to earn the coveted title. After qualifying for the playoffs on five consecutive occasions, NYCFC has finally made it all the way. The heavy Portland rain set the stage for the dramatic league final as the Timbers hosted New York City FC at Providence Park. Both teams kicked off with an aggressive edge, forcing 17 fouls in the first half alone. The sides were level until the Timbers committed a silly foul in the 40th minute that forced a free kick in a dangerous spot. Maximiliano Morales stepped up to the spot and curled the cross perfectly to find Valentin Castellanos. The 2021 Golden Boot winner worked his magic to head the ball past Timbers goalkeeper Steve Clark and into the net for the spectacular 1-0 lead. The visiting NYCFC supporters erupted into chaos as MVP chants for Tatey echoed throughout Providence Park. The home side returned to the pitch after halftime with newfound energy. Portland took control of the game as it came to an end, constantly pushing forward on the attack to reach Sean Johnson. It was their final burst of energy that saved the Timbers. After a messy display of shots inside the box, Felipe Mora found the rebound and directed the ball into the lower right corner to send the game to overtime. The extra minutes saw several offensive leads by both sides, but ultimately the game was destined for penalties. NYCFC stepped up to the spot first with Castellanos scoring for the Celestes. Mora, Alfredo Morales, and Diego Valeri all missed their attempts. Everyone else scored their penalties, but the Timbers could not make up for their initial mistakes. Alex Collins stepped up to score the final penalty and send his team into a frenzy. Supporters erupted into chants, joining with others to celebrate the immense achievement. Here are your full MLS Cup player ratings. Sean Johnson, GK, 8 tenths, led well until he got caught up in the chaos of the equalizer. Taven Gray, RB, 5 tenths, helped the team as a whole, but didn't do anything particularly special himself. Maxim Chanet, CB, 4 tenths, neither helped nor hindered. Alex Collins, CB, 6 tenths, stable figure on the defense, but ultimately got caught up during the equalizer. Goodmunder Thorarinson, LB, 4 tenths, neither helped nor hindered. Replaced near the end of the second half. Jesus Medina, RW, 7 tenths, provided the necessary help. Alfredo Morales, CM, 2 tenths, missed his penalty. Maximiliano Morales, CAM, 8 tenths, provided Castellanos the necessary assist on the first goal and scored his penalty. James Sands, CM, 6 tenths, stepped up as a stable figure for his team during the important moments. Santiago Rodriguez, LW, 4 tenths, could have been more present for NYCFC, disappeared in the midfield. Valentin Castellanos, F, 8 tenths, scored the opening goal and went on to score his penalty. Malta Munson, 4 tenths, did fine. Tal's Magno, 8 tenths, came in, scored his penalty. Steve Clark, GK, 3 tenths, could have saved the header by Castellanos, got his hands on it before letting it slip into the lower left corner. Jose Carlos Van Rankin, RB, 3 tenths, blended in with the background. Larry's Mabiala, CB, 5 tenths, it wasn't the Mabiala that fans saw throughout the postseason, he's had much better matches. Dario Zuperic, CB, 4 tenths, provided the stability needed, but should have been sharper on the ball. Claudio Bravo, LB, 2 tenths, not his best performance, when it definitely should have been. Darren Asprilla, RW, 5 tenths, nothing special on the ball. Diego Chara, CM, 7 tenths, he was fast on the ball and made a last-minute save to stop NYCFC from doubling the score. George Fachev, CM, 2 tenths, caused too many unnecessary fouls, he's lucky the referee didn't hand over two yellows and a subsequent expulsion. Yumi Chara, Cam, 7 tenths, he took the offensive lead given Mora's inability to attack, unfortunate not to get the goal. Sebastian Blanco, LW, 5 tenths, didn't help but didn't hinder, should have been better given the game. Felipe Mora, F, 7 tenths, woke up in the last 15 minutes of the game to score the equalizer and save the Timbers, but missed his penalty. Sebastian Moreno, 3 tenths, entered as a pair of